Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel and welcome to my five looks one palette video with the new Pat McGrath holiday palette. This right here is the stunning Celestial Nirvana palette. We've been asking Pat McGrath for colors for years, we've been asking her for more mattes in her palettes for years and guess what? She totally delivered. There is a huge amount of different looks that you can create with a palette like this one and let me tell you I already did three different looks when I reviewed this palette. I highly recommend if you have not watched my review video yet to go watch it. I'm going to link it right there on the eye and my favorite looks that I've created with this palette are definitely the looks that I created in that original review video. So if after you're done with this 5 looks 1 palette you want to see even more looks, I really really love the ones that I created when I first got the palette and you can find them in that original review video. Besides that in this 5 looks 1 palette video I'm actually giving you ideas for 7 looks because I'm giving you different ways in which you can switch colors around with other colors that are in this palette to um, create even more looks, I guess. Anyways, I always ask you guys to let me know which look was your favorite. So after you're done watching today's video, don't forget to please comment down below from one through five which one was your favorite and at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one was mine. If you like my content, don't forget to please subscribe before you leave so you can see more of it and we have five looks to get into. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start the first look with the color Venusian Peony. I'm using a refer number 15 brush and once I tap it all throughout the crease I'm going to go back and forth through any edges to soften them. With a refer number one I'm grabbing the color Fabulosity and I'm adding it to the outermost corner of the eye, tapping it in place first and then I'm going to start blending it into my crease. Tap 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 it on the outer corner and then with the tip of your blending brush start doing little circles and blending it upwards. If you need to go back with the bigger fluffier brush and just blend any edges. To darken things even more I'm going to use the color Nocturnal Navy and tap it on the outer corner of the eye. I'm still using my refer number one brush and once again I'm tapping it on the outermost corner of the eye and then once it's nice and opaque with the tip of my brush I'm going to blend the edges upwards but not too high. Once all of your colors are blended, this is roughly what things should be looking like. I think I want to go for some cotton candy vibes with the color Aquarian Dream, so I'm going to tap it right in the center of my eyelid and I'm using a refer number two brush for this and I'm taking the shimmer all the way to the edge of the crease. Back with the refer number one, I'm just tapping the edge, nothing added, I just want these two colors to blend nicely into one another. And with a refer number 28 and the color Lunar Lavender, I'm going to do the inner third of my eye. Inner third of my eyelid, I should say. And just mix Lunar Lavender with the blue shade. Grabbing a makeup wipe since I don't have any makeup on my face yet. And I'm just going to clean up right under here. Back with some makeup on my face, I'm going to start on the under eye area with the color Nocturnal Navy and I'm using a refer number 3 brush to smoke the outer third of my under eye, connecting it back here at the end. And then with a very small blending brush, this one is my refer number 13 and the color Venusian Peony, I am smoking out the under eye area, so all the way from the tear duct area and then underneath the blue to soften things up and smoke the under eye area. For my waterline I used the baby blue eyeliner from Odin's Eye and a bit more Lunar Lavender to round up this inner corner and connect it to my tear duct area down here. And before I do any mascara or lashes, this right here is look number one. Really nice and colorful, probably as colorful as you can get with this palette with all of the combinations. I don't know, I really like the smokiness of that deep navy blue on the outer corner and I love the colors on the eyelid as well. If you were to combine all of these eyelid colors with a taupey shade on the crease instead of the pink, it would look a lot more serious but I wanted to go for cotton candy vibes. So yeah, this is look number one. Let me come back with mascara on. Back with just mascara on, I wanted to show you what this looks like if you don't want to wear any falsies, just mascara. And I'm wearing the Dark Star Mascara from Pat McGrath. Everything I'm using in today's video will be linked down below. So definitely check out the description box for everything listed and linked. 
Back with some lashes, these are the Style Serendipity from Velour, and you can use code PATTY20 to get 20% off of them. Anyways, this right here is the final first look with this Pat McGrath Holiday palette here. To begin look number two, I'm going in with the color Desert Divinity, and this is a refer number 16 brush. And I'm back and forth going to blend this natural looking taupey color all throughout the crease of my eye. A little bit more of that same color just to darken things up a bit. And I'm blending it out into the crease. To darken things up, I'm going to use the color Auburn Allure on the outer corner of my eye back here. And this is my first time using this color. I'm using a refer number one and blending it into my Toby crease shade, building it up right back here. If you need to go back with your bigger, fluffier brush and just soften any edges. With a refer number two, I'm going to grab the color Starlit Copper and pat it on the center of my eyelid, blending it back into the smoky shades back here. And with a smaller flat brush, this one being my refer number 28 and the color Eternal Amour, I'm going to do the inner third of my eyelid. So far, this is what I have for look number two. I'm going to go ahead and do some makeup on my face and I'll be right back to finish it up. Back to finish up look number two, I went ahead and applied a brown eyeliner to my waterline. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. And let's keep going with the under eyes. For underneath the eyes, I am grabbing the color Flame Fatale with my refer number three brush. I wanted to use this brighter red, but I didn't want to use it all over the crease of my eye, so I feel like right under here, um, hopefully it'll be better, we'll see. And I'm just kind of mixing it with the end of the eye up here. And with a small brush and the taupey shade we used for the crease, I'm going to smoke it out a bit, blend it down. Lastly, for the inner corner, some Cosmic Champagne and I'm bringing it in through the crease a bit right here using a refer number two brush, any flat brush will do. So this right here is the second look before mascara or lashes. I wanted to definitely use as many of the shades as I could from this palette and so these warmer, redder shades had to be included in a look. This is it. Still, if you're into these warm shades, these performed amazingly and they are a great color story for fall and the holiday season. Back with mascara on once again so that you can see what look number two looks like with just mascara. Back with the lashes on, this right here is look number two. Nice and warm, very fall appropriate. Let's see what I come up with for the third look. I'm going to start look number three with the color Desert Divinity, the taupey, transition-y type shade. And with my refer number 15 brush, I'm just going to blend that color throughout the crease. The main focus of this look is going to be the dark purple shade that this palette has. And I've realized that every time I've used purple, I've gone for a pink transition. So I'm going to use the purple with this taupey transition, make it a bit more wearable, a little bit less colorful and see what comes out of that. And now with a refer number one, we are going into Violet Vixen, stamping it on the outer third of my eyelid back here, stamping it some more. And after I have a really nice opaque intense color, we're going to start blending it into the taupey shade we applied at first. If you blended too much of the purple out, feel free to just add a bit more to the outermost corner there so that it looks nice and even and intense back here. For, I'm going to go for a halo eye, so with the same purple shade, I'm going to do the inner third of my eyelid as well and make them meet through the crease in the center a bit. Right in the center of the eyelid, I'm going for the shade Lunar Lavender and I'm going to apply it with my refer number two brush, blending it into the purple. Also, I take it back, this is not really that wearable, and I'm just patting Lunar Lavender all throughout the center of my eyelid with a flat brush. And then with whatever's left on my refer number one, I'm going to blend the edges. Cleaning up the fallout with a wipe down here, and let me just be right back with makeup on my face. To finish up this look, I'm going to grab the violet color on a refer number three brush, a small pencil brush, and add it to the outer third of my under eye and the inner third of my under eye right down here. 
Also grabbing Lunar Lavender and wiping it right under the center of my eye. And with the tip of a refer number 28 and the taupey shade that I used as a transition, I'm going to smoke out the under eye area. In my waterline, a lilac eyeliner from Odin's Eye. And the color Cosmic Champagne right on the inner corner. With a small flat brush, this one is my refer number 28. So this is look number three before mascara or lashes. Once again, the Dark Star Mascara from Pat McGrath. This is what things are looking like with just mascara on. And back with my serendipity lashes for my final third look right here. This beautiful matte purple shade is so amazing and so intense. I absolutely love it. So yes, take a look right here at how things came out. And let's go ahead and move on to look number four. Desert Divinity on my crease once again to begin the fourth look. And with my reference number 15, I'm just blending it out just like I did before. I promise you this is the look that's going to be really nice and wearable, but still glamorous and still a little bit colorful. You'll see. Okay, blend it all the way. And with the color Nightfall and my reference number one brush, I'm going to darken up the outer corner of the eye just to intensify the brown a bit, tap it on the outer third of the eyelid and slowly blend upwards into the crease. Guilty Opulence on a flat brush right on the edge of the dark brown right here. And Bronze Infatuation, which is our nice sparkly bronzy shade all throughout the rest of my eyelid. So from the inner part of the eyelid all the way to the greenish shade. Back with makeup on my face and I want to use the color Altered State all throughout my under eye area. So from the outer corner of my under eye to the tear duct area. And I'm going to connect it with the brown right back here. And then grabbing my reference number 13 and our transition shade, smoke out that green. In my waterline I used this Glossier eyeliner in the shade Fresco, which is this really nice forest green shade. And for my inner corner, we're going back in with the champagne color. Tapping it on the inner corner and blending it in. All right, so this right here is the fourth look before mascara or lashes. I'm actually not going to do lashes for this one, but I will be doing some mascara. Feel free to get your traditional black mascara and complete this look. I want to go back with the Aquamarine mascara that I bought along with this palette release and use this instead. Back with the mascara on, and while it made this look a whole lot of fun, I don't think I'm going to be wearing this mascara on my top lashes anymore because it looks a bit much. But when in my review video I used the just on the bottom, I really, really loved it. So I'm going to kind of stick to using it that way, I feel like. Because on this look, unfortunately, not loving the teal mascara. I actually decided I couldn't live with look number four like this, so I did it again on this eye with black mascara, so you can see it over here, right? So once you have black mascara on, this is what look number four looks like. <laughs> Definitely a lot less loud and a lot more wearable. I absolutely love that green underneath the eye, smoked out, a ton of fun right there. So yeah, check it out. This is what it looks like here. <laughs> Time to get started with look number five. And with the color Desert Divinity and my refer number 15 brush, I'm going to push the color into the outer third of my eyelid and the beginning of the crease out here, but only right out here. So point from the outer third of your eyelid towards the corner of your brow, but don't get all the way there yet. <laughs> Just push the color in. And then with the tip of the fluffy brush, start blending inwards ever so slightly and a little bit upwards, but not all the way, just to soften the edges right here. And definitely don't go past the halfway mark. So just like this, we just want to soften the edges, pushing a bit more of that color in. And this is what things should be looking like. With a refer number one, I grabbed a bit of the color Nightfall to deepen things up even more. And I'm doing pretty much the exact same thing, except I'm not taking it as high. So outer corner of the lid and then a little bit towards the crease, but not as high as before. And then I'm just blending inwards with the tip of my brush once I place the color where I want it, just like so. 
In order not to take that color too far out or too high, switch back to your refer number 15 or whichever other big fluffy brush you're using and blend with that one. I'm grabbing a smaller blending brush. This one is my refer number 13 and adding the green shade from this palette right on the outer third of my eyelid as well. This color's name is Altered Slate and we're just adding it right back here. And then just once again with the big fluffy brush, blend your edges. A key part of this eye look is to do it before you do the rest of your makeup because you want to clean this outer edge. So with a cut and round, I'm just going to make things really nice and sharp back here, just like this. For the center of my eyelid, I'm grabbing the color Heavenly Bronzed and I'm applying it with a flat brush. This one is my refer number 28, right here in the center, blending it slightly over the edge of the green. And now with the other side of that brush and the color Eternal Amour, I'm going to do the inner third of the eyelid, right here, blending it into that gold shade. So the way I just applied it, I have a lot of empty space right here and it's kind of just covering the eyelid. We want to take that pink shade higher. We want it to show up when our eye is open. So take it all the way up here, all throughout the inner third of the crease until it meets with the smokiness you left back here, just like this. Just take a look at that, I'm obsessed, nice, elongated type of a look. Let me be right back with makeup on my face to do the under eye area. Back with my makeup on and we're taking that altered state shade to the halfway mark underneath my eye. And I'm not blending it too high into this outer part right here because I want the line of the eyeshadow to stay sharp. So I'm just blending it right underneath my eye, a third of the way in, and then just right here on the outer corner, making it meet with the top, but I'm not blending it all the way out the way I sometimes do. With a different refer number three brush and the color Eternal Amour, I'm doing the inner half of my under eye. So from the tear duct area, making it meet with the green in the middle. And with a refer number 12 and a teeny tiny bit of our transition shade, I'm going to smoke it all out down here, back and forth. Again, not going all the way up here because I don't want to blend my sharp outer line this time. For the inner corner with a refer number 26 and the champagne color, I'm just going to tap right here, blend it into this pinky shade a little bit, just like this, just wanted to brighten things up a bit. And for my waterline, the Makeup Geek Eyeliner in the color Ultramarine. I learned my lesson with the Aquamarine Mascara, so I'm going to use it just on the bottom lashes. I just really like this mascara down there, but I am going to use regular mascara for my top lashes. By the way, I really love the way this look came out and you could do this exact shape, but instead of using the blue on the outer corner of the eye, using the navy color and instead of using the shimmery pink on the inner half of the lid, using the shade Bronze Infatuation and it would be gorgeous as well. So if you want a little modification to this eye look, do that because I think that's going to be spectacular. In fact, I'm thinking of maybe recreating that look that I have in my head for a reel since this is the fifth look for this video, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the top of the eye looks like with just a bit of mascara up there and I am going to do some lashes as well. The trick to lashes is to wait for the glue to get tacky. You don't want to put lashes on while the glue is super wet because it just will not stick. Besides that, I can't not use a tool. I used to use tweezers. Now I use this thing from Velour that I love. And these are Velour lashes in the style Serendipity. And I really love to press the band into my lashes so that it looks really tight and there's no gaps because I don't love to wear eyeliner. This right here is look number five, lashes and all. I absolutely love the way this came out. And here it is on both eyes. I'm back and I'm here to tell you which look was my favorite. I feel like you can maybe guess it. My favorite was definitely look number five, which is what I'm wearing right now. This one I think is above everything else that I created 
in today's video and I also really love, like I said at the beginning, the looks from the review video, looks one, two and three from that review video all over them. So again, if you have not watched it yet, go ahead and watch that video for extra fun looks. If you're interested in this Celestial Nirvana palette or anything else I'm wearing on my face, everything is listed and linked down below in the description box of this video. So definitely check out the description box for all of the information that you need. By the way, whenever I do these types of videos, I try to use every single shade from the palette and I'm pretty sure I did that in this video except for this light gold up here. I didn't really use that one in any of my looks, but every other shade that is in this palette was used. I definitely love showing you how to get the most out of your palette. I absolutely love this palette, by the way. I just love the variety of colors. I love the variety of looks you can create with it. I'm totally crazy about it. Definitely one of the top releases of this year. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop being scatterbrained. I love you guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave, and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.